saw so like Brody Grothes, saw Basics, saw Wrestling Seven Minutes. Um, a lot of times in that situation, uh, I tell you what, I saw a lot of maturity. A lot of times in that situation, guys are trying to take shortcuts, but he wrestled hard. Got the last takedown, that's big. Uh, more just the way he wrestled on top, forward, hips up. Uh, not sitting and, and goofy, funny stuff that gets you in trouble. But still, some of his trademark goofy stuff that, you know, made it a, a I think it was 8-1, wasn't it? Maybe? 6-1. 6-1? I think it was 6-1, and then he got another takedown in the end, maybe. I don't know, maybe you checked my math. 4-0 with a late takedown, 6-0 final. 6-0? I'm wrong. <laughs> Speaking of maturity, how has he shown that in the room leading up to now from his debut? Well, I think patience equals maturity a lot and um, you know he hasn't wrestled a match in over a year in Carver Hawkeye Arena. Two weeks ago he didn't have what he wanted. He didn't um, you know really uh, what I would say put his head down and suck his thumb. It was more about um, you know getting better and owning it and that's what we like and you know when you can do that and move forward through the adversity and then still be patient and know that your time's coming. That's why he was able to do what he did tonight. And I'll tell you another thing too. You know, a year or two ago, Brody Growth, is the conversation that we had last weekend when we didn't wrestle him. Uh, he would have had some maybe issues with that where he maybe wouldn't have embraced that as much. Uh, but we do things for a reason. And so two weeks ago, he has a performance he had. It's, we, gotta, we got more work to do. I'm not just gonna keep throwing you out there just to throw you out there. And uh, he did a lot of good work, and it paid off. Tom, good, do you have good any, win for him? Do you have any dialogue with him on that? I know you guys were out in Illinois, but between the time he was in Dubuque and when he was in the room here that night working out, was there any? Did you talk to him at all? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of dialogue, and again, I go back to, you know, what's the decision going to be the, the weekend in between this weekend and the weekend he competed when we needed a 41 powder and we picked Topher Carton. And he didn't like it, which I like that he didn't like it, but it wasn't, you know, a battle. It wasn't, you know, trying to talk to him or kind of spin it a little bit for him where, hey, we're doing this for your own good. It was more like, you know what? I know you're doing it for my own good. I'm mad at myself for how I competed. I know I got to get better and I'm going to use the time to get better and, and put in the preparation. And then you see that tonight. And, and uh, you know, I like it. I like how he wrestled. I like the hips on top. I like you know, getting to your leg shots. I like not holding front headlock and letting the clock tick down. I like using your length and getting to the angles in there. And those are all things that you can scout that all day long, but that's just hustling, getting to, getting to where you're good. And then, and then um, you know, putting the points in the bin. It's not just, you know, holding on and, and uh, oh, stalemate. And oh, at least 30 seconds ran off the clock. It's scoring. It's important. He took pride that he was going to have the last takedown there too. Didn't need it. Got it. That means something. What will you do for Sunday? That one toe for cart will go Sunday, and and uh, you know we'll keep building. But Grothis will be on the road trip, and that's not a, a slant at at Topher, just like it wasn't a slant against. Um, it was, that's not a slant against Grothis Sunday, just like it's not a slant at Topher Carton tonight. I mean, we got two guys there that are fighting hard, and it's not going to come down to a wrestle off. I'll tell you that right now. And I, I made it very clear. This is not about being in the lineup. This is about doggone. We need ten weight classes, and uh, we got to quit talking about it. Start doing it. What do you think of the other eight that won for you tonight? Uh, good. Um, you know, I told the the uh, TV that whatever whatever TV I was talking to that, you know, I don't really say a whole lot about you know, feeling good about things. But I really like this team because they score points. And uh, they're trying to score points. And even Meyer, you know, there was some, there's a lot of things that he needs to clean up. But um, you know what? He gives you his best. And uh, you know what? He's getting to the legs. He's attacking. I mean, we'll just keep doing that and keep attacking and scoring points. But they're trying to score points. I mean, look at Stoll. Look at that. That's a pretty mature freshman. That's a pinner. That's a pinner where, you know, his best position might be on his feet, but it might not be. And, uh, you know, the guy picks down. He doesn't get a stall call the whole time. So, you know, most guys might just cut him. He just stays resilient on him, methodical, patient, intense. 
um, a lot of adjectives there, and he gets the fall because he has patience. That's maturity. That's confidence in a position where he wasn't really making a whole lot of hay there, except he's keeping him down. Coach, and you scored a lot of points in the first period, too. How nice was that to control the first three minutes? I think that's something we've done better this year as well. I mean, you know, it's going to come down to can you do that against Penn State, Ohio State, Michigan, whoever's in the top three or four, Oklahoma State, every time, you know, four or five matches in a row at every weight class. You know, you win 60, 50, 60 matches in a row at the national tournament, probably going to win the tournament. And that's what it comes down to. So, yeah, we like it, but let's see it every time out. And, and that's, that's why I like this team a little bit. They, they're trying to score.